Hey everyone, it's Thursday the 1st of December and it's almost five past midnight. So December's only just begun. Anywho, <clears throat> um, I've got another diecast haul for you. Yeah, I uh, picked some um, model lorries up this afternoon and I picked a load of other stuff up on Monday. Um, which I traded some other stuff for. Actually, those tractors I purchased a couple of weeks ago now, there was five of them, Britain's tractors, I traded them back um, to the, the usual guy. That's what I'm going to call him now, just the usual guy. Um, I've mentioned him, I don't know how many times, on the uh, channel now. Yeah, he's the one that does all the um, car boots and sells a lot of die-cast models on there. And some other toys, if he comes across them. He's actually got, at the minute, a um, original 1980s He-Man Greyskull toy castle. Anywho, uh, most of it is on the floor right in front of me, but I've actually got these three um, vehicle transporters up here. So I'm going to start with those first. And I'm going to start with this one now. Actually, it didn't dawn on me until I got these home that these aren't meant for the little, you know, for these dinky little ones. These are meant for that scale. And they do, in fact, fit perfectly on here. Look at that. Which is actually great because one of the reasons I like buying vehicle transports is because I like to display them like that with vehicles on them. So yeah, that one didn't that one didn't uh, come with this lot. That was just there for demonstration purposes. Anyway, my lovely Corgi Major car transport. Not in bad condition for its age, just got a tilt cab. It's a Ford, but not sure what Ford it is. Um, in fact, I did see it in a Google search. A completely unrelated Google search, actually. But I can't remember what it was, what it uh, said. Yeah, that is actually quite a nice uh, transport. I quite like that. You always get an itch. In the worst place at the worst time. <laughs> Anyway, so that's the first one. Then I got this one, which I think is a Bedford. And that's another Corgi. Uh, does it actually say? It should say on the bottom. Big Bedford tractor unit, Corgi toys. What's it got on the trailer then? It just says carry more transport on it. Well, that's exactly what that one says to carry more. Um, was that actually a type of trailer back in the day? You know, a company that made these car transport trailers? I have no idea. And I, oh, no, it does come off. I was going to say I think it's permanently attached, but nope, it does actually come off. Oh, I like that. That. Hang on, I'll just put it down on the desk and I just have to try it. See, the um, ramp here pulls the whole thing down, from the looks of it. Maybe? Yeah, like that. Oh, you can do it separately as well. Oh, I see. Oh yes I can, okay. I'm just trying to figure that out so I didn't break it in the future. So that's the two corgis. Yeah. I'm gonna collapse backwards for me. No? Okay, I'll just leave it like that then. This one is an oddity. It's an Isuzu truck. 
it's actually Japanese. It is actually made in Japan. And as you can see, it's got a photo of a group of people. And obviously I can't read Japanese, so I don't know what that says, but it's got part two written under it. So that to me suggests it's from some sort of Japanese TV show, maybe. Um, it is made by um, Ionzawa Toys. It's just got Isuzu Auto Transporter written on the bottom, made in Japan. Um, and I've Googled this, a friend of mine has Googled, Googled this, I won't spit the word out. And uh, there's very, very little out there. In fact, I Googled Yonzawa Toys and they still exist from the looks of it and they still make models. But I could not find an image of this. Um, so it does appear to be quite rare. And apparently these were only ever um, released in Japan. They weren't ever released over here. So this could be a very rare model over here. And I actually quite like it. I want to know what these speakers are for. That to me also suggests that this is probably from some sort of TV show over there. Um, but I don't know anyone that reads Japanese who could uh, translate that for me. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if a translation app is going to pick that up. But yeah, I couldn't resist that, not for a tenner. And it's in pretty much, uh, well, I would actually say mint condition. I can't see any marks on the paintwork anyway. Right, so keeping with uh, big trucks and corgis and whatnot. Three more down here that I got today. We have got Billy Smart's Circus. I've actually got another one of these down there as well. And there it is. All complete. Is that a truck at Bedford? Yeah, it is. Bedford articulated truck. And my cards and things are just fell out of it. Hang on a minute. I'm going to pick these up because I think these are, I don't know if this one is, but yeah, it is a limited edition. Number 1214. be great if you could find number one. <laughs> so yeah, that's limited edition. And I've also got, I can't believe the actual weight of this. A Dodgem's truck, uh, Pat Collins Fair, and that is all complete with um, paperwork and oh, none that's here. Put the lid on round the wrong way. It's got this as well. If I can get hold of it, I'm trying to do it one-handed. Hang on. I was going to throw this out earlier, thinking it was just a plain piece of card, but it's not. that it's got a thing you can make up for the dodgems I think it's for the dodgems actually you know it's wheel of fortune isn't it so, yeah. and, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fish one of them dodgems out of there but they are all in there and I'm going to put this one out on display because I think it deserves it. I mean, it's got all the little dodgems with it as well. And so this is limited edition, and this is number thirteen one one five thirteen thousand one hundred and fifteen of only fourteen thousand three hundred producer. This is actually getting up there with the. The last of the production line. It's even got the mirror still attached here. It hasn't been attached to the truck yet. What was it? I think this is a ERF truck, if I remember rightly. Yeah, EF, ERF Dodgem truck. And a bit of uh, info on the Pat Cullen's Funfair. 
Put some tomatoes there. Put the lid back on. That is actually quite heavy. I can't believe how heavy that thing is, to be honest. Right. And the last lorry, only because I like these AEC trucks. And you'll see some badge does um, Leyland's as well. That's another limited edition. Uh, number 5,218 of only 6,300. Why is it always a 300? Why don't they just make around 6,000 or something? Or 6,500? <laughs> it just seems a bit of like an odd number. This is another Billy Smart Circus truck and it's got the um, box trailer there. I got that because I actually quite like the truck. And again, that's um, quite weighty as well. I have to make some room over there, I think. <laughs> I would like that one out there as well to go with the um, dodgems. Whoops. Put my uh, sticker thing in there, certificate. Right. And trust me, I didn't pay as much for these as you probably think I did. <laughs> right, I'm just going to move these off the desk. Keep hold of it so the um, cabs don't fall off. So I've also got a bunch of um, vanguards and other corgis down here as well. And I've got one duplicate actually. So I'll have one for sale or trade or whatever. I might stick it on the car boot next year, I don't know. <clears throat> so I'll do... Actually I'll get the boring bit out of the way. I've got a... It's meant to be up on the police station that fell off the shelf earlier. Yeah, I've got a box of, um, well, a box of Matchbox and Hot Wheels and things, as well as a separate lot of um, vintage Matchbox. So those are the duplicates I've got. Well, like a, Hot Wheels, a couple of Hot Wheels fantasies in here. That's something I've already got. I've already got another two of these kicking about. And I've got another one of those somewhere. So they are my doubles. Along with uh, this um, Ford 100E. I've already got one of these. Uh, it is actually over here. And it's down in this corner behind the two police cars. So yeah, that's a, a replica. Not a replica, a duplicate. You want to call it a replica for some reason. All right, I'll put that in that box. Should be heading over to Mum's in the morning, so I might take those with me and put in the um, box of die cast over in the shed just to keep them out of the way here. It's bad enough trying to find homes for all of this lot. Right, so uh, these are all boxed apart from the other red and white Triumph Herald. It was, but I had it down here on the floor and somehow it got squished and I don't know how. Anywho, this is the first one I'm going to show you. Um, and it is... I don't think... No, it hasn't got the figures in there, unfortunately. Well, I can't see them anyway. But it is a Mark I Cortina. London Transport. I actually quite like it. No, it doesn't look like the figures are in here. I've got some paperwork and the instructions to paint the figures, but no figures. I'm not too fussed because I'm not really interested in the figures anyway. I know it probably devalues it as a set though. There we go. Lovely Mark I Cortina London Transport. I love the um, underground sign on the roof there. Next one, I'm just going to pick them up at random off that um, pile on the floor, I think. I'm just going to take them as they come, as they say. So we have got a Vanguard's Morris Minor Van. Now I've got some 
just off to the side there, which I think they've all got corgi written on. These are all corgis, just a second. Um, it's got a horrible paint job on them where you can't read them. Yeah, this one's a corgi. That one's badged as corgi, and that's a royal male one. I can't remember where I got that from. Charity shop, I think. Let's put that back there. And this one is the little police one, which I got from this chap a while back as well, I think. Yeah, it was, because he had a load of um, these police ones. I think it just says Morris Van on the bottom, yeah. It doesn't even say if it's Vanguards or anything. It looks like it, though, because I can see these screw holes. Ah, it might not be, actually. No, I'm not so sure that that one is Vanguard. Look, it's got screw holes in the bottom there, as if that was on a plastic uh, plinth. Vanguards don't come like that, so and we've got a little RNLI one here, which I th think is a corgi. Let's see if I can see it with this. This one is a Vanguards, so it's actually got it stamped on the bottom. Yeah, so that one is actually a Vanguards. Um, see, I'd like to put that one with those. But uh, I don't want to take it out of the box. Because <laughs> then it just means I've got to tuck this box somewhere safe. I will uh, just take it out to show you though. It's not an empty box, it's just quite a nice little van. Please note, further items packed under the VAC form packaging. Oh yeah. So we've got the dinky little do um, wing mirrors there. So this is as new. This has never had the mirrors fit. Just like the ones I got out of um, the disc and that shop here in town. So it actually still has a whole bunch of these vanguards for sale. He's got a couple there that I might actually get. Got a um, Allegro there. I might actually grab that one. Next up, we have a trial. Um, a trial. Because I was reading Herald and thinking trial. Um, triumph. Triumph Herald. Just like that red and white one I showed you earlier, but yellow with a white pinstripe. Or a different coloured one here, got a variation of it. To be honest, and I'm not fond of yellow, it's not one of my favourite colours, but I actually prefer this one. I don't like the red and white one for some reason. Um, and it baffles me because, like I said, I don't like yellow, it's not one of my favourite colours. It's actually one of my more disliked colours, but I like that one better. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. I've got another. Another one Vanguards, a couple of other Corgis, and a members one down there. So next up, we have got a Vauxhall Victor. Now I have, I think I've got another one over there. Or am I? Yeah. But the other one's yellow. So now I've got the blue one. I just think these are lovely cars to be honest. Why can't they make lovely cars like this these days? I even quite like the sort of uh, sky blue colour as well. I'm going to stack all these over here with the other ones. Right, so the last Vanguard's one is a Morris Meyer Traveller. This has actually made me very tempted to go into disc and that in the morning and see if he's got uh, anything else to take my fancy. There it is. That sort of 60s green colour. Oh, 
Are you interested in these as well? Mine. those two in a minute so I'll grab that one. So yeah this one, I don't know if it's actually worth a great deal, in fact a friend of mine googled this as well when he was here earlier and uh, <laughs> um, apparently on eBay they're sort of asking like 30 odd quid for it but it is a exclusive members diecast model so I'm just presuming you have to be like a um, exclusive member or something or just a member uh, but it, all it is, is just a nice little Moggy 1000 with a lovely pinstripe going down the side. <clears throat> I'm actually surprised, you know, these Vanguard's models and whatnot aren't uh, more collectible than they are. Because, you know, I've looked them up on eBay myself and the average is sort of 10 to 15 pounds for a boxed an actual boxed vanguards like this so yeah they just to me they're just nice little models maybe it's just me maybe it's just a niche thing and there isn't that many people out there that are interested in them anyway next one <clears throat> we're getting there slowly classic cars Ford's Ford Zephyr I knew he said Sierra for some reason yeah, there we go, Ford Zephyr. I have actually got a red and white one of these. I think that's a Ford Zephyr. Where is it? No, it's a Zodiac, so it's the other Z car. I actually got this on a Facebook group. Um, someone was... Um, Auctioning off a load of diecast on a Facebook group um, that I'm on, and uh, you just put your bid down in the comments, you know, and he has a start and finish time. They usually run it for like three or four days, and whoever's comment is the highest bid at the end of it wins it. And I think I was the only one that actually bid on this Zodiac. Yeah, that's a Corgi as well. I actually quite like that. Not that I can actually see any difference, to be honest. But that is labelled as a Ford Zephyr, and this is labelled as a Zodiac. I don't know. Were they the same car and just badged differently? I have no idea. I'm not old enough. <laughs> And uh, another Corgi Classic Models, the Winners Limited Edition. And this one is um, Anne Hall's car. And there's a lot of info and things on there as well. That's a Ford, Ford Zephyr as well. This looks just like that Zodiac. <laughs> don't know, maybe I'm just reading the base wrong. But I'm pretty certain. I'm going to check that now just in case I have read it wrong. Hang on. Nope, that definitely says Zodiac Mark II. There's got to be a difference with it somewhere between that and the Zephyr, and I'm just not seeing it. Anywho, the last thing is a tub of just vintage matchbox and things. And a few other uh, different models. Yeah, um, this one, I actually have no idea who makes this little tractor. And this is probably one of the newest things on, in here. You know, it doesn't look that old, it's got that little number code on it. You see that on a lot of modern toys if you look at the bottom of them. And I've just realised it's got these ridiculously thin front tyres. Look at those! That would be no good on a muddy field, would they? They came through it like knives. <laughs> it is a nice looking tractor though. And uh, the other reason I know it's modern is because it's got a plastic exhaust. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> so yeah, that that's definitely a just... 
mean, it's all die cast. It's not too badly made. It's just, I don't know why they've put such thin tyres on the front wheels. Or why they've made it four different colours. <laughs> Reasons best known to the whoever made it, anyway. Um, this was also in the box. It's a Lone Star, and I'm pretty certain, I'm actually going to take this to Mum's tomorrow and show my stepdad, because I'm pretty certain, along with that coupling, that that is actually N-Gage Model Railway. There's no motor in it, so this would be the dummy end for it. But yeah, I am pretty certain that's um, N-Gage. Union Pacific. I actually quite like that, actually. Um, to be fair, I'm not that interested in American Locos, but I actually quite like the design of that one. It's actually making me tempted now to sell all of my OO gauge stuff and go in gauge. <laughs> right, uh, this was one of the reasons I wanted the box of random matchboxes and things. Because I saw this in the top of it. And I know how collectible these uh, Mark II Transit Supervans are. You know, people put them up on the Facebook groups I bought and they had to. They're gone, just like that. Uh, what else have I got? A little old Bedford uh, ambulance. Usually they're missing both doors, but this one is just missing one. <laughs> um, but still, it's got most of its uh, transfers on the sides there. It's a nice little van, nice little Bedford van. We've got uh, another Corgi Rover SD1. I believe I've got... Actually, I can't remember now if I've got this in yellow or not. And I've got it in blue. I think I have got a yellow one. But uh, Corgi did lots of variations of them, so the other one I've got may not even have a yellow interior. It might have a white one or something. Corgi were great at doing that. Anywho, now we've got some more Matchbox tractors. Well, I think this is Matchbox. The wheels look Matchbox. Got a little, um, I would guess a Fordson Major with the orange wheels. Either that or just a Fordson. I'm not sure if there was a difference or if they were the same company. I'll, I just know the names and that's what the colours remind me of. In fact, one of Mum's old landlords, may he rest in peace, actually had one of these, a real one that used to cut the grass on the um, caravan site with. Uh, what have we got? John Deere. I've got a couple of these with various wheel colours up on the shelf. I've got one with the grey wheels actually. Uh, but I like the tractors so I'm keeping it. <laughs> and then we have got a Volvo. I think that is Lesney as well. If I remember right, I'm looking at the bottom. Um, and then I've got two of these blue tractors, and that one's had a custom hook stuck on the back. And that one, the hook has actually broken off. These blue tractors are the most common one I come a com come across when I, um, I find boxes of cars and whatnot at car boots and I know they did a green version of that but that seems to be the hardest one to find. Right anyway moving on we have a Fodden cement mixer. Now I have got a few of these um, and I have got, I've got at least one more with this style of wheel on. They did do a later version of this um, but the other one I've got with this style of wheel is in far worse condition than this, paint-wise. Anyway, this is actually in very good condition. This one may end up on my display over there, actually, because it is in such nice condition. Now we've got Corgi Ford Capri, minus the hood, so I could use that for spares to fix up another Capri. Or I could cut like a bit of, um, what do they call it, styrofoam or something? 
and just glue in there so it doesn't have an opening hood and just make a hood for it and uh, do, um, fix it up that way. Well we got good old stretcher fetcher. These seem to be common as muck as well. If you look on eBay you can find people selling job lots of these. Well there was last time I was looking. Um, what you need to look for bit of fluff getting in the way, go away. Uh, um, I know they did a military green one and I know they did one in red for the fire service as well. Can I find either of those for my collection? No. <laughs> a little uh, fire engine here with the wheel escape ladder and the wheels actually rotate. Back when matchbox cars actually came in a little matchbox, hence why they were that big. Another, it's one of them little heavy haul trucks that Matchbox did. I think I might have another one of these in rougher condition than this one. I think it's a Scannel. Does it actually say what it is on the bottom? These are actually so small, a lot of the time, yeah, it's just got Lesney England written on it. I'm guessing it's likely a Scannel. Um, now I have got another rarity here. I've got a Matchbox bulldozer, or a Lesney bulldozer, with tracks, the original tracks. Look at that. Albeit they don't like staying on the wheels very well, but <clears throat> it does have them. They don't feel very stretchy, so I don't actually want to touch those because they'll probably just snap. Just, you know, from deterioration with the, their age and whatnot. Now this is an odd one. I have no idea about this little truck. There's no brand name on the bottom. There's nothing on the bottom. It doesn't even say where it's where it's made. It's just a die-cast truck with some plastic wheels. I mean, I like it. I just don't know <laughs> who made it or where it's from. Um, some more very old matchbox here got a couple of these and at least one of mine is just a scrap truck it's in the box of scrap because most of the wheels are either broken or fell off and it's all bent and twisted and it's a right mess and then they've got this the garbage truck may have another one of these in my collection but it's not likely going to be in as a nice condition as this one I can guarantee it actually what else we got? I think it's a real toy Ford Galaxy, aka the Volkswagen Sharan, because they both look the same to me. In fact, I'm pretty certain they're both the same car with just a different badge on it. Corgi Buick Regal from an old 1970s show called Kojak, I believe. I've got a few of these, but uh, my other Buick Regals in this colour, the Kojak ones, they um, aren't as um, clean as this one. Especially the plastic because all the silver goes on it. But as with all of these Buick Regals, the beacon's been pushed inside so... Seriously, at least half of what I've got in my collection have had the beacons pushed in. Maybe... Uh, I could do a video on those actually because I have probably got about 20 Buick Regals in the collection. Give or take, I am just guessing. And that's counting the duplicates as well. Anywho. Got a little crane. And I've got another one on display but it's got a metal hook and rope on it and I don't know if it's original. But the other difference is this counterweight on the back here or front, whichever way you want to look at it, uh, but it's actually painted red on the other one. In fact, I'll just put that there smudgy. I'll just show you because it's only over here. See? Now, that bit looks like it is original to me. And in fact, I've got its bigger brother. I've got the um, king size version of it over there, and that's also got a red counterweight. But I don't know if that hook is original or if it's meant to have 
the plastic one which has got stuck on this one. See? I'm not sure. I mean, everything else looks the same. Well, I've got the red hydraulic ram. This one is in very, very nice condition, though. I think I'm actually going to stick it over there with this one. And with this, uh, let me just grab the bigger brother as well. There it is. All these horrible tires that like to fall off. I've got quite a few of these Matchbox models with these tires. I've had, I actually went round one day and glued a lot of them on because they just kept falling off. You know, they've deteriorated with age and uh, they don't fit as well as they used to on a lot of these and they like to drop off and uh, that was just getting highly annoying for me so uh, I glued a lot of them on. Because otherwise they get lost, you know, sucked up vacuum cleaner. I've got Smudge now and she likes Lego wheels so she'd probably steal them. I'd never see them again. <laughs> so, I don't know why I put this one in the keep box because I've got one of these on the shelf. Oh yes, I remember why I put this in here now. I've got one on the shelf with box. I can't remember if I've got one. I think I've got another one loose. But I wanted to check it just to see if this one was in better condition than the other one. If not, this was going to go in the um, box of duplicate vehicles to go over to Mum's. Um, I'm only going to show you one of these because I've got two of them in here. A Euclid dumper trucks. And I've actually got a few of these as well. I might have to get them all out one day and line them up. <laughs> um, Dodge truck. It's the second one of these I've got. And believe it or not, my other one is in just the same condition as this one. We've got the um, fantastic sort of Mustang hybrid van that they did back in the 70s. I've got a few of these now. And nearly every one I've got, I think, has got a cracked windscreen for some reason. Why? <laughs> That's another one. You know, if it weren't for that, this would actually be in very good condition. I suppose it is. Um, oh, this one can go in my uh, duplicate box. I forgot. I've got one of these with a box and I've got one loose somewhere. So oh, I just bounced straight off the upside down Triumph Herald and uh, on the floor and rolled into the hallway because it landed on its wheels. Now we've got another Dodge Crane. I say another because I've got a few of these as well. That is actually in very good condition. It's just missing the hook. I don't know, maybe I've got a scruffy one in somewhere in the collection I can steal the hook from and put on that one. Uh, Mat 2 Transit Truck for Corgi. Again, I've got a few of these, but I like these. And I want to do some sort of custom paint jobs and whatnot on them, so I do like to keep hold of those. This is probably the newest thing in here, actually. Look. Now, this was originally released... Well, the casting was released in 76. At least that's when the copyright is. But that's definitely not a 1976 release. This is a more modern version of it. Um, I actually have a McDonald's toy in here from Hot Wheels. From back in the day. What was it 2000, I think, the copyright on this was? 2002. McDonald's. Um, the only major item I found was this little trailer with a line or something in the back. I think that's meant to be a line in there. RS200. Which I need to go through my box of Matchbox because I believe I've got another one of these. I think this one's in better condition. I've actually got one boxed as well, so I've got one box and one loose. Well, too loose. Um, a little mini. Find these quite well. Being a mini, you, I could sell that quite easily. Uh, can't remember who made this one. 
That's a little Lido race car. And the last one, no, it isn't the last one actually. We've got a little, uh, I don't actually know what that is. Oh, it's a Mazda MX-5, or a Mazda Miata, as overseas might know it as. But it's sold as the MX-5 over here. And that is actually 176 scale, so it's ideal for my model railway. The last one is also one of my favourite vintage lorries. It's the Bedford TK. Now, I have got, I think this is my fourth one now. However, this actually has one thing still with it that my other three don't. If you look in the cab, it's actually got an interior. It's missing on all of my other ones. All of my other um, Bedfords have that interior missing. There it is, you can see a bit better there. It's actually attached on the um, cab hinge. So, um, yeah, I don't think they ever came with glass in them. But, uh, yeah, they were meant to have an interior, so this is the only one I've got. In such lovely original condition with the interior. So I think that one is actually worth just leaving as is. I'm not going to bother with the restoration on this one. I've got one which is in pretty much the same sort of condition paint wise. But it's missing that interior. It's a shame really. Oh, excuse me. So that is the latest uh, in the collection or the latest um, acquisitions I should say you can get these uh, sorted into the um, designated boxes under the bed at some point I've actually got a pile under the bed to sort through as well wouldn't mind putting these ones up on the shelf in the box. There you go. Threw this one in the box. Look, that wheeler fell off. And that tire fell off. Look at that. Wonky wheel. There we go. Might actually help if I actually point it at the camera. <laughs> no idea why I had the tractor over here. So I was like, look at it. Look, look. And you're all probably thinking, yeah, we would if you'd show it on the camera, you idiot. <laughs> oh. Well, I didn't notice that. <laughs> Grey, black, <laughs> and that doesn't even, that's not even the right tire for it, that's come off something else. I'm going to see if I can locate a grey tire for that then. Mind you, I can always display it with the black tire hidden. Right then, so that is it for the video. He says make noise as he chucks them in the pot. So, thanks a lot for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Links to my other channels and Discord will be in the description down below, and of course, Comments, questions, etc. in the comments down below. And uh, I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.